Hi everybody, um, my name is Sarah Sanborn and if you're familiar with Barn 45, um, you would have met me or maybe have heard my testimony on um, Facebook Live or on YouTube through barn45.org. Um, so I promised everyone that I would be starting a vlog. So this is my very first day starting the vlog. Um, and it's so funny because I actually first about three weeks ago, God put it on my heart to start a vlog. Um, and I actually sat and was pacing back and forth and thought, okay, this is it. I'm going to do it. And so I recorded the whole entire thing. And I don't know, it probably took me retake after retake and, um, I never hit record. So it never recorded, but it's all in God's time and he knows what we need and when we need it. And so it's his perfect timing that I am able to start my vlog today. So I just wanted to say how blessed I am for all the people who have reached out to me after I did my testimony. It's absolutely overwhelming um, of how much love and encouragement that I received um, through giving my testimony. And it's so awesome. Chains are being broken. Relationships are being healed. Um, and I always kind of knew that, and Kurt and I talked about it, how we knew that our testimony and our story would definitely um, help people and change people's lives just because of all the stuff that we had went through and all the different losses and um, how we overcame it only by God. And so yesterday um, I was praying and I said, okay, God, if I'm supposed to start my vlog, then you need to show me feathers. So today, of course, um, two of my patients both had feather tattoos on their arm. And if you didn't hear my testimony, um, you'll be able to, um, see how the feathers all kind of connect. Um, and then I reached for a book on Saturday and I haven't ever even read this book and it's called enjoying the Int intimacy with God, um, by J Oswald, well, uh, sorry, Oswald Sanders. Um, and I was opening up to it and I just was going through the book just to see um, what it was all about because I never read it or started it. And of course, on page 95, it says, in the Song of Moses, that principle is illustrated like an eagle that stirs up its nest, that hovers over its young. He spreads his wings and caught them. He carried them on his pions. The Lord alone will guide him, Deuteronomy 32, 11 through 12. And then it goes on to say, as with the eagle, so with the Lord, the eagle builds its nest on the mountain using fur sticks and twigs, then lining it carefully with fur, feathers, and grass. The little eaglet hatches out into an ideal, comfortable home. Life is perfect. Meals are delivered regularly and there is nothing to be desired. So the story is talking about how we seem comfortable and in our little nest, but we need to get out and reach out to more people. But I thought, oh my gosh, three things, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Number three, um, gave me the confirmation about feathers once again. And the night's not even over yet. It's only, well, it's almost nine o'clock. But one other thing before I let you go, I'm probably gonna do my vlog about probably two to three minutes maybe, or four minutes long about um, all my God wings and about how God is in the here and in the now, like right here, right now. I want people to realize that he's everywhere um, all the time in everything. Um, and every morning I pray, God, lead me where you need me and teach me, help me be a blessing and help me love someone who needs to be loved today. And every time he leads me where he needs me. And of course he does because we're his children and he loves us. Um, but last thing is, I don't know if anyone has gotten this book, um, Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. I had mentioned it um, during my testimony, how I would give them out to patients. But of course today says, when things don't go as you would like, accept the situation immediately. If you indulge in feelings or regrets, they can easily spill over the line into resentment. Remember that I am sovereign over your circumstances and humble yourself under my mighty hand. Rejoice in what I am doing in your life, even though it is beyond your understanding. I am the way, the truth, and the life. In me, you have nothing you need, 
you need both for this life and for the life yet to come. Don't let the impact of the world shatter your thinking or draw you away from focusing on me. The ultimate challenge is to keep fixing your eyes on me no matter what is going on around you. When I am central in your thinking, you are able to view circumstances from my perspective. I just thought that was so, such a big deal um, because we can't look at it as our circumstances. He makes all things good for those who love him. And I'm just super excited to um, have started this journey and to share tomorrow what God is gonna, going to put on my heart or what he is going to put into my path. So I'm super blessed and we will talk to you soon. Have a good night.